Today coming up a little deeper topic than usually, no tutorial, no how to make it as a musician. It's more about how to conquer the problems that you have as a musician, especially depression, when just things do not work out as you would love to. What do you say? Don't know how to spell it out for you. Let's run away. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. I don't know why, but today is just one of these rare days where I don't feel like making music. This sometimes happens. And I think the best on days like this is just to not make music. Don't force yourself to go to the studio and start producing or work on a track that you already started, you will just end up ruining it. If you're doing a creative job, you can't force it. You should just go with the flow. If you feel right, if you feel good, then go make music or any other creative task. So for me, whenever I don't feel like making music or I just don't have an idea, I usually go back to taking care of business stuff and, and not heading over to the studio. And on top of that, I, I also got a mail like, maybe a week ago by someone that wrote me a really deep and long email about him having like a, a depression or feeling depressed because of making music. And this is a very serious topic. I wrote him back a couple of suggestions, my, my point of view and how I deal with it or dealt with it because this will happen to you eventually when you make music. You will have a big down phase and it's hard to get out of it because you're doing something creative that isn't secure, isn't stable, you're not getting paid every month, you, you never know what's going to happen next, you are your own boss, you have to kick yourself and move and, and do your stuff. Even if you don't succeed for a very long time, you still have to put in 100%. And this constant doing, working, trying to improve your music, trying to improve your social media skills, your promotion skills, and whatever it takes to be a musician, and without having any movement in it, without seeing a constant progress, it leads eventually, and pretty fast actually, to feeling depressed, feeling down, and not really having the motivation to keep on making what you do. And I'm by no means an expert how to deal with depression. If, if you feel depressed, you should definitely get professional help. And if music is causing this depression, and it's not like just a face or just like feeling down, if it's like really serious and, and like for a couple of months in a row, you should also consider like changing your life and maybe stop making music or just do it as a hobby, get a regular job, make a regular income, have time for your friends and do all of these things everyone does and on the side as a hobby music. And there is even a study that states why are musicians more likely to suffer from depression. It's I think by The Guardian. It's a little older but I still think everything in it is, is true. And this article gives a lot of reasons as I already said like they're not a stable income, you never know what's going to happen. You don't have someone guiding you, a boss that tells you what to do. You have to do it yourself and that's sometimes hard to have a plan and really stick to that plan and even sticking to the plan if it doesn't work. Then it's also talking about like drug abuse. That's definitely something that is happening in the music scene a lot. You have way easier access to it. Sometimes it's just out of fun and they get stuck with it or they feel bad and then like really just be really, really careful when it comes to drugs, especially if you don't feel good, especially if it becomes a habit, just stay away from these kind of things. Cause at the end, they will just make you feel even worse, will make you make even worse music, be less concentrated, which will lead to you feeling even way more down and then probably taking even more. If you ever get to this point, I hope you won't get help immediately, tell your friends, your family, whoever you trust and let them help you if you can't help yourself anymore. I luckily never had something as serious as this. I mean, for me, my toughest phase was definitely when I was living in Berlin. I was there with my girlfriend during the winter time. It was dark, like 24 seven, cold. I had no real friends there because I just moved there. 
It was really good for making contacts into the music scene. It helped me a lot without living in Berlin for that half year. I wouldn't be where I am right now because every day is party. Every day a club is opened. Every day you can go and connect with the right people that are in the music business. But on the flip side, I wasn't productive at all. I didn't really have a studio there, like just a home studio where I couldn't really listen to music because the neighbors were complaining and not being able to make music and all those parties every day kind of let to my least productive half year ever and that kind of yeah it made me feel really bad i don't know i just whenever i don't make something create something i feel bad i think that's like the main driving force for all artists there are people that seek to make something to produce something to leave something behind to make something that other people enjoy and if you don't make anything for a long period of time it will definitely drag you down. And whenever this gets really serious, you should really consider stop making music, stop making music for a living, stop making music, chasing the dream of making it. Let's just be realistic because like just 1% out of all musicians is making a living out of it. And out of that 1%, maybe 1% really makes it where you can say, okay, they have a above standards life. So the chance that you will never make it full time is 99%. If you're dreaming of becoming the next Martin Garrix or David Guetta or whatever, just the chances are so slim. Even if you make extremely good music, just making music isn't the entire package. It's like the promotion, the people you work with, the connections you have, the effort you put into it over a long period of time. And I'm talking here like 10 years at least. If you can't deliver all of that, your chances are even lower. And on top of that, if you let that not succeeding get into your head, you will be even worse off so just try to power through if it's serious get help as i said but if it's just a phase the best thing is just to do other things for the day for the week and then go back to making music try to not give up on it because every day could be the day where you make the one song that will make it for you and if you just stop it can never be achieved you know what actually this motivated me so much that i um instead of staying at home making business stuff we'll just head over to the studio and create something i feel good enough inspired enough to do so and i really hope you feel the same I have to say, I'm extremely happy I went to the studio, I worked on a song, almost finished it without like powering through and just like motivating myself, convincing myself to head over to the studio and make music. This would have never been created and would be like a lost day. Although I have to say business stuff is important and you also should take care of it. But I'm more happy creating something and having achieved something that day than just like writing emails. Let me know what you think about this topic. Please don't murder me in the comments. As I said, I'm not a professional advice person for like feeling depressed. If you really feel seriously depressed, get help. What are your thoughts? What are your experiences? How do you kind of motivate yourself to just keep on making what you do? It would be really nice to continue this discussion down below in the comments and just help out each other. I'm sure you have a lot of great tips just to get over these kind of phases where you feel a little down. For me, it's now actually time to head back home, relax a little bit. I worked enough on the song, very concentrated, which is also something that will definitely help you to advance. Don't get that easily distracted. As you know, procrastination is like the worst enemy when you're self-employed. If you're interested in that topic, I will link it up at the end. I think I made this video like half a year ago in Berlin with another DJ together. It was also a very tough time for me because at that time, time I, I already knew that my management was screwing up with me my money and I knew that I don't want to work with them anymore and this entire phase was also pretty tough but as you know I got out of it I made it through I powered through if you're interested in how I made that there are daily vlogs available on my channel for yeah almost two years 
Did I forget to mention my two year vlog anniversary? I don't remember when I did my very first one. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with my life as a DJ and music producer, we will see us tomorrow again. And don't forget to just motivate yourself, power through and create. That's probably the most satisfying in the world. Besides smashing maybe. Although that's also creating, I think, somehow. Let's run away and